Hi, this is AlbumCoverTemplates.com and I am showing you how to uh, use my placeholder set. With this placeholder set you can resize, rotate any of these placeholders and all you have to do is drag them onto a template um, to design your own pages. It's so easy. Um, this here is the White House custom color template. Um, that's where I order my albums. Wherever you order your albums from should have templates similar to this that show you the guidelines for the uh, safety lines for the edge of the book. Um, so what I'm going to open up, this is actually one of my album covers, but I'm going to make um, background sets that you can also purchase that will have like 20 different uh, backgrounds, all of coordinating colors that you can move the placeholders to. So the first thing I'm going to do is move the background onto the um, book. Now I can do um, edit, free transform, shift and hold this down to resize my background um, wherever I want to size it to. I actually want it to do this so I don't see that ribbon section. Or maybe I'll just keep that one line on the bottom. That's pretty interesting. Okay, and at this point what I can do with the background, I can uh, turn down the opacity so it's even more faint and see-through. So there's a wide range of uh, flexibility in, in the decorative backgrounds. Okay, so now I'm going to merge these two layers because I have um, the background I desire. I have to hit return to get rid of the transform lines. And then I'll, I'll wait till I'm done designing before I merge my layers. Okay, so I'm going to close this so I don't reuse it by accident. And then I have my placeholders. So uh, here you could see I have them labeled um, square with cut corners. Let's just start with that one. So I click on, I highlight square with cut corners, get my move tool, and since the square with cut corners is highlighted, I can drag it onto my template. And it looks like my background moved a little bit by accident, so I'll just slide that over. If I'd flattened it, I wouldn't have been able to do that. Okay, and here I have my guide to show me what page, and I want to show you something interesting. I could take this and repeat it, layer, duplicate layer. Okay, and then I have my move tool, and look at that, now I have two. And I could follow my grid. Another thing I could do, layer, um, duplicate layer. And with this one, I'm going to hit uh, Command T or Edit Free Transform. Hold the Shift key down and drag it to make it bigger. And if I want to, I can even change the shape, let go of my shift key, and just drag it upward. Okay? There. So here's my first um, uh, layout where I want to put pictures. So I've designed this layout, and maybe, maybe I'll just put one big square picture on the other side. So I have, oh, I have this sloppy square, which is neat. I'll move that over. And again, um, edit, free transform, hold the shift key down, drag it to a nice size. Okay, this video is going to run out of time, so I'm going to leave it right there. Um, you can, I want to tell you, you can use the grid, uh, view, show grid, check it if it's not. And what that does is it allows you to count squares to make sure you have things uh, centered. Okay, so this is part one, and in part two I'll show you how to bring pictures in.